for everyone joining us, this is RC from Twin Entertainment. My first question to you would be, uh, when did you decide that you wanted to be a rapper? In fifth grade, because my cousin was an, an angel, a producer, man behind the scenes. He was the one that, that influenced me, kind of, and motivated me to want to be a rapper, and ever since then, it's been on. So, who are you most influenced by? As far as, like, me being most influenced by, like, I would say, like, just like my cousins and, and Angel, actually. Just watching them go through and street team promotions and, and make their own album and be successful with it just motivated me and influenced me to want to do this. So, the, in the process of making your first album, what was the hardest part of it? Mm, just making time to get in the studio, kind of, because, you know, being um, under 18, I have certain restrictions, but... <laughs> I think that was the hardest part. So, the first time that you stepped on stage, how did you feel at that moment? If you can just think back at that moment. Um, nervous, but but then like once you started rapping, the momentum and, and adrenaline just started going and it just felt good. So it's feeling like you plan on doing it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a good feeling. How, how do you feel now compared to then? And are you more confident? Do you feel better or? Yeah, I, I, I'm more, I would say I'm more confident because it just, it's like like experience. Like if you ride a bike, second time you're gonna feel way better about riding that bike. So it just, it's easy, so it's fun. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> any advice for any upcoming artists or people who are thinking about? Just don't give up. If, even if people don't accept you the first time, just don't give up. Cause <laughs> I've had to try and try just to just to rap with my cousins, and so just don't give up, keep trying. Now, how exactly did you join Twin Entertainment? Bugging them, <laughs> pretty much, just bugging them. Since I was like in fifth grade, I just bugged them and bugged them and kept trying to tell them to listen to my birthday, <coughs> and one day they just like finally decided to let them get in the studio. And how did you start your process, like to, you know, get to that point where you, you think just like, you were able to Well, start. first I started out recording on, my CD was so bad, you hear my verse on one side and the beat on the other side. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even cool, because in my car, I had one of my stereos blown out. Oh, God. So you could only hear the beat. But other than that, that's what kind of like... I took it to them and he said, I can't work with that. So he put me on his <laughs> stuff and so it's just been on since then. Now on the new album, what's your favorite song? Mm, no, I'm just a player song. I think that song touched bases with a lot of people and a lot of dudes from, from California because a lot of guys nowadays could relate to that song. Now, this is for all the ladies. What is your ideal girl? Bad one. It's a bad one. If you don't know what the definition of a bad one is, it's a girl that's your dollar, your lucky charm. If you'd be able to pick somebody, just say uh, someone famous right now, what, whose name would you, you know? Angelina say? Jolie. No, Jessica Alba. I said Jessica Alba. She's a bad one. She's a rascal bad one. You know? um, do you have any message for your fans? Uh, something you want to tell them? Just stay tuned. More to come. It's going to be good things.